Unfortunately, as we all know too well, sexual violence continues at alarming rates in conflict-related situations. So in addition to looking at the best ways in which we can prevent and respond to cases of gender-based violence in conflict, today's discussion will also reinforce an important point, and that is the important role played by female police officers within peacekeeping operations. We find that most of the sufferers of gender-based violence or sexual and gender-based violence are women and children. In, in relation to sexual and gender-based violence, we have a feeling that having uh, women, female people in the peacekeeping missions would be of some importance and uh, the, female, the few female police officers that are there have acted as role models and inspirers of the local police. And uh, to me, I think that is some good of inspiration that has been made by the existence of female police officers in the peacekeeping mission. Sexual violence against women and children is a great concern throughout the DRC. Cases of rapes and sexual abuses were rampant in the East, and um, there was little or no progress in access to justice for the victims. In the customary or familiar settlement after rape, a girl under 18 years who was raped will be asked to marry the man that raped Double punishment. Also, a rape and sexual violence is committed by the uniformed personnel. Those are the members of the FARDC and some of the PNC. Rape was used as war tactics and women are basically the victims. Women are the ones that are suffering this, and children. Uh, among ANPOs, there are only 60 female officers. That is from the civil police point of view, and uh, 135 from the Indian FPU, bringing the total of female ANPOs to 195. Uh, the male officers, they are 1,009. As you all know, the resolution on women, peace and security was adopted a year ago in response to the increasing use of sexual and gender-based violence as a tactic of war. Perpetrators are most often men in uniform, and how can we then expect women, victims of this abuse, to ask for help from men in uniform? Today, only around 7.5% of the total police officers, police officers deployed in missions are women. In DPKO, we are launching a global effort, effort to recruit more women in peacekeeping operations. We, we depend heavily on new member states to give us more women. In light of, of that, we invite member states to look into the recruitment processes <coughs> and requirements and make sure it's not less favorable towards women 